Hi guys, welcome to the Fun Guy Files. Today we're going to be preparing some brown rice grain spawn, uh, some liquid culture, and inoculating some agar dishes with cordyceps for future projects. Now in preparation for some more completed cultures, we're going to go ahead and prepare some brown rice spawn. We're going to start with boiling some water, just enough to cover the general amount of rice we need. I have a lot of extra jars here off to the side, so I'm not concerned about making too much. With our water fully boiling, we're going to go ahead and add roughly three cups of brown rice. This is not washed, rinsed, or anything as such. We're going to put this in. We're going to stir occasionally. Uh, it's going to put in here, reduce it to a medium simmer for about 10 minutes. With the rice finished, we're going to go ahead and remove it from heat and move it to the sink. Now here at the sink, we will go ahead and drain all of our rice. And now we're going to rinse the rice with cold water. So stop the cooking. Wash all those starches and everything off. Now we'll go ahead and leave the rice here to dry for the next 15 minutes. And while the rice was boiling, I did prepare two more liquid culture samples to go ahead and be pressure cooked along with our rice. Our rice has now dried out, so it's time to jar it up and pressure cook. Now that we have loaded, we have one modified lid with a silicone injection port and three unmodified grain jars with the unmodified ones we just want to have the lid just about a quarter turn loose on each of these and we're going to wrap it all up in aluminum foil all of our jars are now wrapped in aluminum foil to prevent moisture build up on the lids and it is time to move them to the pressure cooker and finally, with everything loaded up into our instant pot in this case, we're going to go ahead and add just enough water to cover the bottom. And maybe about half an inch to an inch up the jars. Perfect. We can go ahead and seal the instant pot. Pressure cook. I'm going to do an outer 45 in this case, just because I have so many items in there. We're going to keep the keep warm off. Start it, and for this first 10 minutes after we build uh, heat, we're going to keep it on vent for now. It'll steam. 10 minutes of steaming, we can move it to pressurize. And while we are waiting for our pressure cooker to steam off, uh, we are going to go ahead and inoculate some agar dishes with these cordyceps from inoculate the world super excited to work on some experiments for these my next video will most likely be uh, creating some nutritional broth uh, for the cordyceps substrate uh, yeah it's looking really nice so we got three dishes we only really needed to put a little bit of a drop on each Ideally, I want to grow out this by sim on these agar plates, uh, move that to liquid culture to be able to culture it out. Uh, Sinensis is really something that I am got to watch out for with generational use of these genetics uh, as cordyceps are really susceptible to it for whatever reason from whatever I've read. But we have our sterile needle. We have, everything's been sprayed down with isopropyl and washed, washed down. I'm going to go ahead and remove the cap. And put on our sterile needle. Beautiful. We're going to keep the needle onto it. We can sterilize this uh, for repeated use. Um, this can be kept at room temperature for a while. I will more than likely be moving this to fridge storage uh, once I have my liquid culture created uh, just because this is going to be the random genetics these are spores 
where that liquid culture should hopefully be a single culture. I'm just going to go ahead and get these prepared. All the lids have already been popped. Everything is already cleaned. And we only need a little drop on each one of these dishes. All right, easy enough. Uh, hoping the condensation will not be an issue on these guys just because they are a little bit cold and wet. Uh, however, it should not be the end of the world. And now we will go ahead and move all three of our agar dishes into the incubation chamber. We have reached our heat, so we are starting to steam off. We're going to go ahead and set a timer for 10 minutes. While we're waiting on the pressure cooker to steam, take a look at these big old fruits. This king oyster has got a very thick overlay down here. Pop the lid off real quick introduced to fruiting conditions about four or five days ago. Shiitake, almost ready to be cold shocked. And then more king oysters, coming along very nice. Very thick overlay though, we'll see how that turns out. Our time has passed, I'm going to go ahead and seal the pressure cooker, let the pressure build, and we'll check back in in about two hours. It's been about two and a half hours we have naturally released the pressure in the pot and everything is looking to be finished we're going to go ahead and pull everything out with everything pulled out to the counter we're going to head and let it cool overnight get to room temperature for ever inoculating with anything. Liquid culture will be for cordyceps and lion's mane, and the grain will be likewise for the same, unless I have other cultures that get ready sooner. And that concludes today's episode of The Fungi Files. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we finished four jars of grain spawn, uh, two jars of liquid culture, and inoculated three uh, dishes of agar with some cordyceps. So I look forward to Pursuing the cordyceps project, waiting for my lion's mane to colonize and make some liquid cultures out of all of these uh, to continue my cultivation uh, efforts. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know uh, down below. Thank you very much.